Hey everyone, have you ever wanted to play more like your favorite player? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you a technique that will help you do that. A while ago, I made a video on a mental technique that if used can help you play amazingly in a game. If you want to view that video, you can click the bar that comes across, but I've had many uh, players come to me uh, or comment to, uh, to me that that um, technique has helped them so much that I'm go wanting to make another video um, on a different technique that's similar uh, but a little bit different. So pretty much every soccer player has their favorite player. Some of you guys might like stars like Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi and they may be your favorite players. Some of you may have favorite players that are the best players in your position and some of you might have favorite players that are the best player on the team you support. Either way, this mental technique will help you play a lot more like that player. What's funny about this technique is I actually used to use it when I was a kid without realizing it. Okay, so here's basically what you do. Close your eyes and envision your favorite player. So think about them. Observe him very carefully. How does he carry himself? What does he do? How does he play? Mentally, have him play a match in your head and observe everything that he does. Make him play amazingly in the way he would normally play in real life. So picture him, visually picture him, beating players one-on-one, -on -one, uh, passing the ball accurately, scoring goals, doing really good things in this mental match you're having him play in. Now, while still having that visualization of him playing, I want you to also be telling yourself, I'm as good as, and then insert whatever player um, you are imagining. So if it's, say, Ronaldo, mentally, as you're visualizing him playing amazingly, say, I'm as good as Ronaldo. Now, as you are watching him play in your mind, really make yourself believe that you are as good as him. Then, after you have convinced yourself of this, you are now going to envision yourself playing exactly like him. It should be almost the same visualization, except instead of thinking of your favorite player, so for example, if I'm thinking of playing like Steven Gerrard, the vision changes, the visualization changes, and now I'm imagining myself playing like that. So if you're, say, envisioning Messi, you would envision Messi, Messi playing as best as he possibly can, you know, cutting players up, scoring goals, setting up teammates. After you've done that for a while and you've repeated, I'm as good as Messi, over and over again while watching that uh, mental image of him beating all these players, you are now going to transfer yourself into that position. So now instead of watching Messi do that, you're going to watch yourself do that. So you just say envision Messi beating three defenders and then setting up a teammate. Now you're going to envision yourself doing exactly the same thing, except it's now you. Now, after you've done this for a while and you've opened your eyes and you've uh, um, convinced yourself that you can play in that way, that you're as good as this player, two things should happen. When you open your eyes, you should be feeling very confident and self-assured in your ability. You should also be very excited to play the next time you play. You should almost have the urge to play, like you want to go out and immediately try some of this stuff. Now, the more you do this, the more you use this technique, this mental technique, the more you will actually be able to play like your favorite player, and I'll tell you why. I'm not gonna get really deep into the scientific explanation of why this works. So I'm gonna give you kind of a watered down short version, but you should be able to understand what I'm saying. Basically, the brain cannot determine or differentiate between reality, what we're experiencing now, and a very vivid and detailed visualization. So if you can make something visually, through visualization, make it seem like it's really happening, you can almost trick your brain into thinking that that is reality. Through doing this, your confidence will soar and you will think that you can play like your uh, favorite player. Your brain is convinced that you've already done all of this. And therefore, you, when you step on the pitch, you will be much more confident when it comes to playing like that player. And because you've envisioned yourself playing in that way, because your brain has thinks that you've done it before, you, I, I kind of want to just let you do it and see what happens, but you'll be very surprised at how well you're going to play on the pitch. I just want to emphasize, it's not a magic pill or anything. You still need to practice, um, physically practice, in order to get better. But you will be um, incredibly shocked by how much this technique can elevate your game. Now, I mentioned earlier that I used to do this as a kid without realizing it. And what I did, 
Um, I used to have a lot of soccer shirts with players' names on the back of my favorite players. So I'd have like Ronaldinho, Zidane, Mike Owen, Steven Gerrard, um, and so on and so forth. Um, and when I played indoor soccer, our team used to wear white. And I had a Zinedine Zidane 2006 World Cup white French shirt. And what I would do is when I put that shirt on, I or subconsciously would believe that I was Zidane. I would pretend I was Zidane. So whenever I'd go out and practice in my yard or go to a practice with that shirt on, I would act, I would pretend and play like I was Zidane. And although I didn't connect the dots when I was a kid, looking back at it now, through believing that when having that shirt on, this is a very similar thing to this technique, um, I started playing much more like Zidane. I would adjust my game just naturally to play like him. So I really encourage you to try this technique out. Remember when you're doing the visualization, make sure it's as vivid and detailed as possible. Make sure you reinforce the idea that you're as good as the player that you're visualizing. And then you substitute yourself in for your favorite player, but you're gonna be doing exactly the same, only the person changes. The visualization stays the same, except now it's you instead of your favorite player. Give it a try, guys. The more you do this, obviously, the better you'll get at doing it. You have to do this pretty consistently to get good at it. But especially try and do this before matches and games, which is what you should... Um, the other technique I have a video on, I suggest doing that too. But do it before practice, do it before games, and see how much it helps you. I hope you enjoyed the video. By the way, everyone, make sure you like my Facebook page because I'm going to be posting more content on there, especially motivational videos every few days. If you're new to Simply Soccer, I would love for you to subscribe. We release usually around three videos a week that are designed to help you improve as a soccer player. All right, be sure to like this video, unleash your inner messy, and I'll see you on the next one.